patient then says to me, okay, you know, Dr. Dunleavy, I've tried everything. It's not working or it's not working well enough. Now, what do I do at this point? So the basic question uh, for a patient to ask is, uh, am I satisfied with where I am? Am I satisfied with how my knee or my hip feels and my level of function? And if the answer is no, they're not satisfied, then we start talking about surgical options. Um, hip replacements, we'll start there and I'll, I'll go through the slides fairly quickly. Uh, hip replacements have been around for a while now, uh, first performed in 1960, and I agree with the statement from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons that a hip replacement has been one of the most important surgical advances uh, of the previous century. Uh, there have been many improvements, uh, even in just the last few years, in design and techniques, which I'll touch on. Um, and these days, uh, hip replacements are more effective, and they last longer, and I think it's fair to say that the um, surgery uh, is a little easier on patients to tolerate uh, than it used to be. And it's a huge number of these done every year. Uh, I'm not sure if that 400,000 number is even accurate. I think it may be higher than that. So what should a person expect? Well, they should expect a dramatic reduction in pain. Um, and that's, uh, that's not an exaggeration. It should be impressive and immediate, uh, the reduction in pain and an improvement in their ability to perform uh, common activities. Um, so patients will often ask, well, what can I do and what can't I do? What do I have to avoid? And um, this is kind of a fun slide that's uh, on the, the left of the screen. That's the first President Bush uh, jumping out of an airplane. Uh, I believe it was for his 80th birthday and he had uh, already had uh, at least one of his hips replaced. So I kind of had that up there as a joke because um, one of the things you would say to avoid would be high impact activities like jumping out of an airplane, for instance, or a contact sport. But, you know, what can you still do? You can almost do everything. I mean, uh, there's very little that a person really can't do. Uh, patients that I have, they ski, they bike, they even run, although that sometimes can be difficult. Um, these days, I think it's reasonable to say that a, um, a hip replacement should last about 25 30 years, um, and that has to do with uh, that improvement uh, compared to years gone by when more than 10 years ago, it probably, the answer to that question probably would have been about 15 years or so, 10 years. Uh, there have been improvements in particular in the uh, piece of plastic that's put in. Um, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene is the, uh, the, uh, the plastic that goes in there, not in every case, but in most cases. And it's uh, been engineered uh, to a point where now it's, it's lasting a very long time. So we're not really sure how long they'll last, but they should last a very long time.